Welcome to the continuation of our presentation on limits. In this presentation, we will explore another function, g of x equal to x over x minus 2. But before we continue, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscription and notification bell to stay updated of future videos. Let us evaluate first the function at x equal to positive 2. So we have g of 2 is equal to substituting 2 over 2 minus 2. The answer is 2 over 0. Again, a number divided by 0 is undefined. We can't do anything about the function if x is equal to positive 2. While that is true that the function is undefined at x equal to 2, maybe, just maybe, the function has values if we choose x values not exactly at positive 2 but x values that are close to it. So what are x values that are close to positive 2 from the left side and from the right side of it? So if this is 2, let us identify numbers that are close to it. Let's start with the left side. Maybe we have uh, 1.9 and even closer is 1.99 and 1.999. Similarly, if we're going to choose from the right side of 2, we would have 2.1 or 2.01, 2.001. And then again, we evaluate the function at this x values. To make our work quicker, let us make use of our calculator. Let us input another function, still a rational function, so we use this fraction. We have x down arrow, still x minus 2. And then we use the calc function. Press calc function, let us evaluate it first at 1.9. So we encode 1.9 equals our answer is negative 19 negative 19 calculate at what's next 1.99 negative 199 calculate at 1.999 1.999 negative 1999 so we have negative 119 and negative 1,999. Let's do the same for these values. 2.1. We have 21. How about at x equal to 2.01? We have 201. Let us write it first. Last, we have at 2.001. We have 2001. We know that at exactly 2, the function is undefined. Now, what happens as x approaches 2 from the left, meaning the numbers here are at the left of positive 2? What happens to g of x? Is it approaching a particular number or it's not? From the right side of positive 2, is g of x approaching a particular number? number from 21 it increased to 201 and then it even became larger at x equal to 2.001 it seems that as x approaches positive 2 g of x is approaching not a particular number but it is approaching our infinities for instance if we're going to identify a number that is closer to 2, closer to 1.999, we would expect a value for g of x that is negative and lesser than negative 1,999. Also, if we're going to identify an x value that is closer to 2 from the right, closer than 2.201, we would expect a value for g of x that is greater than 2,001. What this means is, g of x is approaching negative infinity as x approaches 2 from the left. Also, g of x is approaching positive infinity 
as x approaches 2 from the right. What do we mean by infinities? Negative infinity means that a particular function or a particular value is indefinitely decreasing. Also, positive infinity means that a particular function or a particular number or a particular value is indefinitely increasing. Because our answers are infinities, these are not really numbers. The limit of g of x as x approaches positive 2 does not exist. DNA or does not exist. Notice here that I am not putting an equal sign because DNA is not really a number. The limit of a particular function is a number. So we put equal sign if it's really a number but if it's not, then we do not put an equal sign. Again, the limit of g of x as x approaches positive 2 does not exist. And that is because our answers here are our infinities. Let us draw the graph for g of x to verify our results. Actually, the graph of g of x looks like this. This is at x equal to positive 2. Exactly at x equal to positive 2, the graph has an asymptote here. The graph of g of x looks like this. So we see here that as x approaches, positive 2 from the right, the y value is increasing indefinitely. The red line here that you see here is an asymptote. This means that the graph approaches the asymptote or becomes closer and closer but never really touches it. From the left side of 2, the graph is also decreasing indefinitely. It is going to the negative y values. This is an example of a function whose limit does not exist at a particular number. For our next presentation, kindly click the link above.